Tennessee Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Are you feeling a little extra tired or groggy today as daylight savings times took that hour of sleep from you? Thankfully, we did have those low clouds and fogs to start off our day, so maybe we're able to sleep in a little later and not really notice too many of effects today. But we did have some dull sunshine this afternoon, which got temperatures into the 80s, so feeling very spring-like, but that could lead to a few isolated showers later on this evening and another foggy start heading into the new work week. But it does look like we stay dry Monday and Tuesday for the most part before showers start to return by Wednesday and Thursday with our next cold front. But taking a look across the country, at least across the southeast, we can see we still have the remnants of a stationary front back across Georgia, Alabama, where they've seen a few scattered showers this afternoon, even extending back into Mississippi, but not a whole lot of activity back through the Pelican State today. We also have our subtropical jet extending showers back through Dallas up into Oklahoma, but it's going to stay more of our western Texas over the coming day, so we're going to kind of be between those two systems, but we will have that stationary front kind of draped over top of Kadiana, kind of waffling back and forth and so that's going to lead to the possibility for at least a maybe a hit or miss shower in the coming days but we'll keep rain chances down around 20 percent but with that boundary just off to our north and as temperatures begin to cool a little bit this evening I wouldn't be surprised if we do see at least a few isolated showers develop after sunset which is now 730 so it'll be a little later on tonight but I would say from 730 until 930 we will have that chance for a few showers but right now 80 degrees still with some of that dull sunshine peeking through the clouds Dew points, though, up a little bit in those upper 60s. Earlier, they got into the lower 70s, so plenty of moisture in the lower atmosphere to kind of get some of those isolated showers going this evening. Also will lead to the possibility for another round of dense fog moving in during the overnight. So I do expect visibilities to be down around a half mile or less tomorrow morning to maybe give yourself a couple extra minutes as we head back to school or work on our Monday. Eventually, though, it begins to mix out later on in the day. So there's that stationary front. That could produce a few isolated showers this evening. Then we begin to dry out with fog developing into tomorrow morning. The front then lifts farther to the north, so I think we stay relatively dry tomorrow like we have been today. Another warm one with maybe some peaks of sunshine, so temperatures could push near 80 degrees again, but if the clouds remain locked in, I think we stay in the upper 70s for official highs with better rain chances back across northern portions of the state into Mississippi. By Monday evening, again, that front begins to dive down a little closer to us. So if we do see any rain tomorrow, I think it'll be closer to the evening again, like we have been seeing the past several nights with some of those light showers, misty drizzles around possible. Then heading into Tuesday morning, the front extends almost down to the Gulf Coast. So I think that limits our fog potential into Tuesday morning. But by Tuesday afternoon, it turns back into a warm front, another warm day with, again, mostly cloudy skies, but some peaks of sunshine with temperatures pushing the upper 70s to lower 80s. By Wednesday, though, breezy conditions start to develop out ahead of our next frontal system that will be developing some strong to possibly severe storms over East Texas up into the Arklatex region. But I think that's, again, where the main energy stays is the low going to track more up to the north. So severe threat will be north Louisiana up in the Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee, while we could just see some scattered showers late Wednesday. Then the front kind of backs up a little bit as the main energy stays way up to the north, so it doesn't quite push through. So we'll keep the chance for some scattered showers into our Thursday before eventually the front works its way down into the Gulf Coast by Friday morning. And then that's when some cooler temperatures begin to move in as we head into St. Patrick's Day weekend as we still have a little bit of a frontal boundary, so maybe some coastal showers. But outside of that, it does look like temperatures fall down into the upper 50s with a good bit of high clouds remaining for much of our Saturday before some clearing into Saturday afternoon and Sunday. So another mild night, stray shower or drizzle possible here within the next several hours, then patchy dense fog developing after midnight. We'll go 67 for the overnight low, and then just like today, morning fog and clouds could lead to an isolated shower, but I think then we might see some sunshine in the afternoon. I'll go 78 officially for the high, but if we get a little bit more sunshine like we did today, I won't rule out the lower 80s for an official high tomorrow. Similar story Tuesday. There's those rain chances increasing with the next frontal system winds and then again on Thursday could have maybe a thunderstorm with that system as it eventually moves through on Thursday. Then you see the cooler temperatures behind that front down into the 60s for St. Patrick's Day weekend, although drying out with more sunshine continuing into the following week. All right. Thank you.